I'm going to now install the FOSCAM software onto the, my computer. The FOSS camera here. I'm running the installation on a Windows 7 computer. I'm not sure what's in this last folder here, but I'll leave that alone. For now, I'm just going to use the Windows OS. IP camera tool, and then run the IP camera setup. I have not read the manual yet, but hopefully this won't be too difficult. And I'll go ahead and restart my, my computer. The computer has booted back up. And on my desktop, I see an icon for IP camera tool. It's probably scanning my network for the FOSCAM. But currently, the FOSCAM is not plugged in. Let's see if the FOSCAM has a boot up sequence. The Edimax camera did. This unit moves very smoothly. I can barely hear it. With the Edimax, I can hear the grinding noise, but with this one, it's, it's nearly silent. I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the Ethernet. I'm not sure if you caught the message before. The message before, the first thing it said was something that doesn't match. Double click to change. And before I had a chance to do anything, it just changed to this. Just double click on that. It opened up a IE browser. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll need to consult the manual since I don't know the user ID or password. Okay, the login is very simple. Initially, the user ID is just admin, A D M I N, and they said no password. It's asking me, do I want to run the ActiveX module? I'm just going to say yes. Mm, I'll run it. Somehow brought me back to the login page again. Oh my. Not bad. I'm controlling the camera now. Unfortunately, 640 by 480 is the maximum resolution. Let's see. I want to enable the wireless feature. I'm going to head to the administrator screen. 
here's the wireless LAN settings okay this everything looks very straightforward I'm going to set the wireless and I'll be right back I just applied the settings to my wireless to, uh, for my wireless uh, network and the FOSCAM rebooted it on, on its own also the firmware I'm running is 11.22.2.36 Let's see if it still works. I'm going to plug the Ethernet cable. I'm going to close IE. I'm relaunching the IP camera too, and it still sees that the same IP address. Before I tried logging with all caps, admin, that did not work. Okay, so the user ID is case sensitive. As you can see, I'm not tethered to the uh, with the Ethernet cable. I'm going to go put these this uh, fast cam in my closet where it's nice and dark and see how the infrared works. Okay, I plugged the fast cam into, into the socket and it's booting up right now, so... Oh, I guess it came back up. Now it has a different IP address. I guess since there's different IP address is asking me if I want to run the ActiveX again. Oh. I'm not sure why I was moving before. It's probably just a Buddha process. This is actually not bad. This is exactly what I want. I plan to use this as a, a baby monitor. I'm very impressed with this. The picture quality, it's not a one meg megapixel camera like the Yeti Max, but at least now I have infrared night vision. Cool. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download some of the iPhone and iPad apps, those FOSCAM apps, and see if it works on those. I got to spend about a day or so with the FOSCAM, and I browsed the App Store for a number of um, software that would allow me to control the FOSCAM. And by far the best one I found, also the cheapest because it was free, is the Cam Viewer. This is the symbol. So if you put it in um, portrait mode, here you have infrared, you can flip the video, the image of the video, you can mirror it, you can control the directions. If you double tap on the center one, there's an option to recenter the camera. Over here, you have some ca uh, camera parameters, such as you can change the resolution to 320 by 240 or 640 by 480. Then you can adjust the hertz, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, or outdoors. Over here is the brightness and the contrast.
I'm going to turn the lights off so you can see the infrared. Infrared is currently on. The image quality is pretty good. It's not bad. For a $90 IP camera, this is, it was well worth it. Now you will notice the red LED circles around the, the lens of the camera. It's not too bright. I plan to use my Foscam as a baby monitor and I don't think it will bother the child. I can turn the infrared off. Turn it back on. It automatically switch if there's not enough light in the room, the infrared automatically turns on. Now another thing that I read in some of the reviews was that, was that people were saying that the Foscam had a proprietary uh, mount screw over here. I didn't find, uh, mine was perfect, it was a standard camera mount, so um, I am able to connect this to my tripod. So that I was very happy with. Overall, I'm very pleased with the product. There were some quirks. For example, if I had infrared on and I tried to try to flip the image, there were times where the camera would reset and or basically reboot. It would first freeze up for after about 10 seconds and it would just go into a you know, reboot itself. Not sure why. Now another thing I noticed was the um, in internet in Internet Explorer. Sometimes the ActiveX session will crash. If it does, it closes my IE session and then I need to reopen it back up. And as for the audio on the Foscam, it's not that great. The microphone, so, um, the talk feature, I sometimes I hear a clicking noise going on. And I purchased a separate baby audio monitor, so I plan to use that for the audio and use the Foscam as the video monitor. Well, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review of the Foscam FI8918W. I got it on Amazon.com for roughly $90. Thanks for watching Awkward Hamster. Please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. Alright, let's open this up.